Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 98. Day before yesterday, on day number 96. 96 would not be day before yesterday. That would, that would be. Yeah, that is 96, 96, 96, 97, 98. Day before yesterday, we began discussing the notion of units of measurements. Today is our third day in the series, and we'll just do a few problems, two or three problems, two or three very simple problems, where we'll learn how to quickly convert units from metric system to English system and vice versa. Nothing, nothing fancy. We're not worried, going to worry about the precise measurement. We just want to be able to get some idea at the gut level as to how long a given object is or how, how heavy the given object is if we have presented uh, the, the measurements in metric system we have to have some idea as to what it translates into English system because that's what we that was, that's what we use in the US the rest of the world has moved on with the metric system but let's take a look at first first one here for example how long how long do you suppose is five kilometers if you go outside the country and somebody tells you that my house is five kilometers from here, well, how long is five kilometers? Well, let's find out, shall we? We learned yesterday, we learned yesterday that it takes 1.6 kilometers, it takes 1.6 kilometers to make one mile approximately. Doesn't have to be precise as I said, 1.6. We don't want 1.6, we want five kilometers. So let, let's add one more, one more 1.6 kilometers. And that will be 3.2 kilometers. And that's about two miles. So approximately three kilometers make two miles. Let's add one more, one more, one more, 1.6. And if we find out that it's 4.8 kilometers, 4.8 kilometers, approximately three miles. That's it, we are done. So if somebody asks you that, uh, somebody asks you to drive, uh, they, they tell you that my house is five kilometers from here, but five kilometers is approximately three miles. It's 4.8, 5, it's the same thing. 5 kilometers is about 3 miles. Let's do one more, shall we? 5 kilometers is about 3 miles. Don't make it too complicated, just keep it simple. Therefore, 10 kilometers is about 6 miles. 16 kilometers is about 10 miles. And that will be more than sufficient. Let's do one more. Let's do the next one. How long do you suppose? How many inches? How many inches is twelve and three quarter centimeter? How many inches is twelve and three quarter centimeter? Again, we learned yesterday. We learned yesterday that two and a half centimeter, two and a half centimeter is approximately one inch. That's very easy to remember. One inch is about two and a half centimeters. Well, let's multiply both sides by four. If we multiply both sides by 4, we find that 4 inches is about 4 times 2 and a half, 4 times 2 and a half, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times half is 2 centimeters. So we, we learned yesterday that about 10 centimeter is 4 inches, or if you like, 4 centimeters is about 10, 4 inches, 4 inches is about 10 centimeters. 4 inches is about 10 centimeter. We don't want 10 centimeter, we want 12 and 3 quarter. So let's add one more inch to it. Let's add one more inch, which is two and a half centimeter, and now we end up with twelve and a half centimeter. It's about five inches, and the question was how long is twelve and three quarter centimeter? We don't have twelve and three quarter. We have twelve and a half, which is good enough. So twelve and three quarter centimeter is about five inches. Nothing to it. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. This next one, see if you can do it on your own. Actually, I insist that you do it on your own first. Pause the video immediately when I finish writing on the blackboard. Do it yourself once you have done it. Then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Here's the question. The question is, the distance from Earth to Moon, we are told, distance from Earth to Moon, we are told, is approximately 238,900 
miles, 238,900 miles. Approximately Well, here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Two, three, two thirty-eight, nine hundred, and it's 1.61. 1 1.61. 1 We're not going to worry about word. So it's 1.6 kilometers per one mile. So this is how many miles we have. I forgot to put the units here. Two, three, eight, nine hundred miles. I'm making too much fuss now. In the real exam, you don't have a luxury to be so silly. And the miles are going to cancel out. It's essentially, we have to multiply this number by 1.6. Okay, stay with me in this story. It's very important that you that you follow uh, that that you pay attention. Uh, anybody can do it with the calculator. The point here is that uh, do you have the intuitive ability? Do you have the intuitive understanding of the numbers? Do you have the comfort? Do you feel do, do you feel comfortable with numbers to be able to do this by hand? quickly and efficiently. Are you conversant enough in numbers? That's what it is. Let's, let's do it out. I'm talking too much. 238.9. There is no reason why we should leave it, which, why we should have to leave it like that. I'm going to pretend it's 239. I'm going to pretend it's 239, 239,000. Just round it. And then here we have 1.6. We're going to write 1.6 as 16 over 10, which makes perfect sense. 1.6. Nobody's going to argue. Nobody's going to argue that 1.6 is not 16 over 10. Of course, it's 16 over 10. So that takes care of the things very easily. This zero is going to cancel out with that zero, and essentially we have to multiply 239 by 16. 239 by 16. Better, better yet, I, I'm getting lazy here. I'm getting lazy here. Let's not make it 239,000. I'm going to, I'm going to round it to 240,000. The hell with it. Okay. So one zero is gone. The one zero is gone. Now we have one. Two and three zeros at the end. We have to insert at the end. We we're, we're gonna have to uh, insert. We're gonna have to stick three zeros at the end of our answer. We simply have to multiply twenty-four by sixteen. Let's do it here. Twenty-four times sixteen. Twenty-four times sixteen. And we're gonna we're not gonna do it like a baby. One one step at a time. We're just gonna multiply it by sixteen. We're not gonna multiply it by six and then by one. We're just gonna multiply it by sixteen because we know our tables of sixteen. I told you a long time ago, today is our day number 98, the first 10 days we spent learning our timetables. It is imperative, it is crucial, it is vital, it is essential that you know your timetables by heart. Do you understand? 16 times 4 is 64. 16 times 4 is 64. 4 carries 6. I know 16 times 4 is 64. I know that because I know 16 times 2 is 32. That's too easy. 16 times 2 is 32. I do know that. Therefore, 16 times 4 have to, would have to be double of 32, and double of 32 is 64. That's what it is. When someone says memorize the timetables, that's that's the theory. But in reality, you can you can you can cheat. Do you understand? I really didn't know what 16 times 4 was. It's just the double of 32 is 64. 4 there is 6, and then here we have 32. 32 plus 6 is 38. There you go. 38. So the answer is answer is 239. 238,900 miles is approximately 384. Don't forget we have three zeros. One, two, three. 384,000 kilometers. The distance from here to moon 
measured in kilometers works out to be 384,000. 384,000 kilometers to Mr. Moon. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.